was almost as though Louis had, had deliberately picked the worst possible site for his magnificent palace in order to prove to the world that his will was, was greater than nature. Nobody could tell him what to do. He was quite simply the only power in the realm. And having had this consciousness since he was a very, very small child, I think it meant that he was without any arrogance or, or hubris um, of the opinion that he was pretty much a god himself. When Napoleon became emperor, he was really the, the power behind the imperial throne. The problem was that Napoleon really didn't like dinner parties. He thought it was incredibly boring to have to sit around for longer than 20 minutes. So he had the idea that Talleyrand should do his, um, his business entertaining for him, which meant giving dinners on a, an enormous scale to all the most important people in Europe at the time. Versailles was the original hotbed of scandal. The phrase with which everyone began their conversation was on dit, it's being said, they're saying this, they're saying that. All day these whispers of, of rumour would travel about the palace and people would send each other little bulletins by a sedan chair to report on what was going on in, in the different rooms. And that of course made it a tremendously claustrophobic place to live. You couldn't do anything without everybody knowing about it. A code word would be chosen for each letter, after which different letters would correspond line by line, alternately, to produce a new set of phrases. The code could only be deciphered with a keyword. What's moving, I suppose, about the keyword here is that it is courage. The mask concealed everything. Your face, your features, even your voice. You could be anyone and you could have anyone. And they did. Anonymous sex was one of the great illicit pleasures of Venice. And I can see why. This outfit is so thrilling. I feel as though I could behave very badly and get away with it. Fireworks, rides along the canal in gondolas, balls for 3,000 people under the stars, um, plays, ballets with 100 dancers by Lully, everything you could possibly imagine all at once in, the, in this tremendous circus of celebration for the king. Mm -hmm. 